Yo, what is going on guys? My name is NZ Rookie, and welcome back to what is another video. Today we're going to be talking about everything involving abs, how to get abs, abs as a teenager, everything you need to know. So without further ado, let's get into it. Right, okay, so we are in. Now, something I wanna talk about starting off is the phrase that's very common in the fitness industry, which is abs are made in the kitchen. Now, although this is somewhat true, it's not actually the whole story. So let me give you the rundown on essentially how to get abs in 2022. So often a lot of probably your favorite influencers and people on YouTube and people on the internet say abs are made in the kitchen because, well, they are. That's probably like 60, 70% of the problem essentially everyone has abs it's just under a layer of fat right so what you have to do is you have to be in a caloric deficit now the way you are basically put into a caloric deficit is you're eating foods that are low in, lower in calories so that you're burning more energy than what you're consuming uh, every single day now typical foods that are good for being in a caloric deficit are foods that are really high in protein so that's all your meat so your steak fish chicken, pork, beef, eggs are good, egg whites, protein powder. The cheapest are typically protein powder and eggs. Usually the meats are a little bit more expensive, so I definitely recommend investing in some protein powder if you haven't. And other foods that are real low in calories are typically your natural foods, so like vegetables, you know, stir fries are great, all that kind of stuff. Fruit is good, you gotta be careful of some fruits though, for example, like dates. Dates are really high in calories. But for the most part, if you're sticking to proteins, vegetables, and salads, you'll be good. Now, obviously, it's quite well known that you need to be in a caloric deficit in order to reveal your abs. But something that is less known is how to build your abs. Now, of course, this is extremely important as well, because if you have basically well-developed abs, they're gonna reveal far more. So, like, good examples of this are guys like Mike Thurston, uh, Matt This Fitness guys, well, maybe not Mike Thurston, guys who have, like, higher body fat percentage, I think Matt This Fitness is, like, 15% body fat, yet he still has rule defined abs. Now, the reason for that is because of an extremely high muscle mass. So, basically, if you want to have extremely defined abs, you need to increase your muscle mass. Now, it's really difficult because, for the most part, unless you're new to training or you have quite a large amount of body fat, you can't really recomp, which is build muscle and lose fat at the same time very easily, or at least if you can, it will be very slow. So this is why for the most part, people tend to bulk and cut. So just like how you would train any other muscle, your abs need to be progressively overloaded. So great ways to do this are weighted ab exercises. My favorite are uh, like ab crunches, uh, leg raises, those sorts of movements, ones that specifically uh, target the rectus abdominis, or your rotational movements as well to tar target the obliques, and the uh, transverse abdominis. So as I say, exercises, leg raises, uh, ab curls, Russian twists, and as you would with any other muscle, progressively overload the total volume over time, i.e. the weight or the sets or the reps or all three, and also be eating in a caloric surplus with enough protein, the recommended amount being one cram, one cram, one gram per pound of body weight. So for me currently at the moment, I'm in a bulking phase, so I'm trying to build muscle. I'm trying to do a lean bulk, so I'm not trying to put on too much fat, so I don't have to cut too much fat when I eventually get to my cut, because I want to do quite a long and sustained bulk. So I'm trying to build as much muscle as possible. These include doing exercises for my abs, and then eventually when the cut comes around, I'll go into a caloric deficit from my caloric surplus, still keep my protein high, still train the same way I would, progressively overloading, but essentially cut away the fat 
to reveal the fucking shreds, lad. Anyway, guys, I hope this video has been helpful. It's been short. I hope it was informative. Yes, abs are made in the kitchen, but don't forget they are built in the gym. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, and I will see you here very soon in another video. Adios.